I brought it to 314 React here. Today we are looking at a tech demo from the year 2000 called TL Water, created by someone called Tomahide Kano. It's a simple demo that shows water in a pool, the surface of the water dynamically changes, the underwater and reflected environments are distorted quite realistically. The aim of this demo is to investigate the potentiality of hardware accelerated transform and lighting. Being released in the year 2000, the system requirements are a Pentium 3 or AMD Athlon recommended, Windows 95, 98, DirectX 7, and a video card that supports 3D acceleration via DirectX 7, i.e. a GeForce 255 6 or a GeForce 2 GTS. There's a number of controls for it here. We can move the camera, toggle underwater, toggle reflection, toggle the lighting effect, sparkle, pause restart the simulation, and proceed the simulation by a simple step. It's built on the D3DX utility library, and the surface of the water is generated, solving a two-dimensional linear wave equation discreetly, and the vertex blending technique is used for modeling the pole of streetlight. There are a number of releases of this. The first release was in January 2000, and the last release was in August of 2000. So I would have been about 11 years old when this came out, which is crazy to think. There's also some extra acknowledgements here. Wotaro Kishimoto for pressing the person who made this to open it to the public, and Kiminoro Matsuzaki for supporting the development. Now, the original website that this was on is now no longer there. I think the email's probably gone as well. But I think this was on the NVIDIA website for some time, from what I've read, as a demo for the GeForce 2 GTS. Now, the original website's gone, but if you go on this thread on Vogons, they have uh, someone doing some GeForce FX driver testing here. And within the links, they have Unreal, Unreal Tournament, 3D Mark 99, 2000, 2001, and links to the Internet Archive, which has the original website on it. So if you go to here, it's a really old website and doesn't exist anymore, obviously. But through the web archive, you can still download it. There it is, TL Water 1.4. So that's where I've downloaded it from, and I thought I would check it out because I think it's a really cool retro demo, and it works pretty flawlessly on Windows 11 with a RTX 4090 and a Ryzen 7700X with 32 gigabytes of RAM. I didn't need to apply any compatibility settings, it just loads up and runs, which is really cool. So I'll put a link to this thread in the description so you can check it out as well. So here we are, it's running about 700 frames a second there. Very basic window. If you try and maximize it on a 4K screen, it crashes. So I've uh, set it to this sort of window size and it seems to be okay. So you've got the about section here with the creator there and the version number, pretty standard stuff. You can pause the simulation here, you can single step the simulation here and also use the space bar to do that, which is really cool. And you can just hold the space bar and it will just run through step by step by step. And then of course you can turn on or off all the effects here. So you can switch the underwater off, switch the reflection off, the frame of the pool off, the lighting effect off and the frame rate off. We will of course leave the frame rate on throughout this. And when you press enter, it sends up some sparks. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. I love my particle effects. And that is awesome. You can just hold the enter button down. Look at that. Oh, that is brilliant. You can see it takes the frame rate down from about 700 to 800 to about 550. I imagine that's more of a limitation of the single threading and the old DirectX model. Because, yeah, you'd imagine something this simple would be running several tens of thousands of FPS. Oh, that's so cool. So, yeah, you can move the mouse around here and move the water around and displace the water surface, which displaces the, the bump map and the reflection, which I believe is a planar. Because I think it's actually, yeah, it's actually reflecting the model here. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Look at that stretchy physics as well. In the year 2000 as well. I mean, this is awesome. And this water reminds me of the water from Unreal Championship, Unreal Tournament 2003 and Unreal Tournament 2004. It's just so awesome. I love the way you can just mess around with it and just get absolutely crazy with it. Look at that. Drag the lamp down right into the water as well. Move it around. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. It's like putting sound through it. Although it does kind of settle down after a while once you've cut the light under there. Yeah, it's settled down. Keep the mouse perfectly still. And then, boof. Wow. Oh, that's wicked. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love this sort of thing. And for the year 2000, this is just so amazing. So you can switch the underwater off and just see the pure bump map and the planar. Oh, that's so cool. Now it looks like the T1000. When you take off the reflection, you can see under the water the distorted lighting effect there under the under the water. DirectX 7 as well, so really, really cool stuff. So if we move the camera around a bit, there we go. Yeah, there's your skybox. That is awesome. I think that's a light corona as well, from similar to what we see in Unreal Tournament. You get right zoomed into the water effect. Oh, look at that. I do love graphical water effects. 
that's so cool. I mean, that's so ancient as well. Let's turn the frame of the pool off. So you've just got the sort of water floating there. And you can just see the sort of surface that it is. That is amazing. And the person who made it, yeah, props to them if it was indeed on the NVIDIA website for a time. The fact that NVIDIA felt this is worthy enough, and it is, to be a demo for their hardware of the time. That's really, really cool. And I think things like this need to be remembered and preserved. So I'm glad that uh, Vogon's thread exists. And I'm glad the web archive still has it listed and with the download available, because it's just so awesome. Just turn off the lighting effect there. It's a bit more of a subtle effect, yeah. Just has the water effects and the physics and the reflections but without the active lighting from the light. Look at that. Just totally mess it up. When you turn all of these off, you basically just get nothing. Just the blank canvas or oh, some uh, bilinear texture for it in there by the looks of it. Ah, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, so it's literally just nothing. And then you can add the lighting effect in on its own. Oh, look at that. You can kind of see the sort of water caustics. Oh, that's very cool. Oh, that's so cool. So you can see the water caustics without the actual water there. And the light going over it. Look at that as it distorts the shadow from the caustics. Oh, that is brilliant. I wonder, that must be a shadow map made from the bump map or something. Or from the distorted vertexes. That is so brilliant. Again, year 2000, that's really cool. The frame of the pool, the reflection only. Oh, that looks really cool. It looks really surreal. I love that sort of 2000s, late 90s, surreal graphics tech. All it needs is some sort of music to it in the background. Some sort of ambient tech music. Again, it's the kind of thing where you'd walk into a computer shop in the early 2000s and there'd just be a computer sat there with this on and you can just go and play around with it and it would just be like magic basically going wow especially if you didn't have a computer at the time i'm trying to grab the little light there it's hard to grab it when it's swinging around like that come on there we go i love that though i love the almost sort of fong reflection there i love the fact that it's using a planar i love the fact that it has the Water caustics from the bump map that are really directly affected by the light, the physics effects of this, and again, the sparks. It's all about the sparks. Look how good that looks. Oh man, I, I love that. And then you can sort of move the light alongside the sparks. This, this bendy physics thing here is just brilliant as well. It's like a, not a rigid object, but it's like rubbery kind of physics. That's really amazing stuff. And again, you just slightly tap the water there with the mouse and you create little ripples. If we turn everything else off but the lighting, we can see what sort of effect the particles have on the lighting. Yeah, I don't think the particles themselves fire out any light. They do disturb the water surface. That is some beautiful early 2000s tech. Hopefully the creator is still working on cool stuff like this. Again, their website's not there anymore, and I think their email's down, because that was part of the website. So I don't know if there's any way to contact them. I hope they're doing okay, and I hope they see this video. Oh, look at that. Anyway, I just want to check out this in a quick video, because I am going on holiday next week. So I've got a couple more videos lined up in the pipeline, as well as a couple of Unreal Tournament videos to celebrate Christmas and New Year. So keep an eye out for them. Do check out the link in the description to Vogons, which leads to the web archive where you can download this. It's really, really cool. Of course, all credits go to the original creator, which is Tomohide Kano. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably not. I do apologize. Really, really cool. Really, really retro. Absolutely love it. And it's so cool to see this sort of thing just running flawlessly on modern hardware. And I'm probably going to install it on my old Windows 98 PC just to uh, see how it runs on that as well. Thanks for watching. Again, check out the links in the description. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Leave a like, subscribe, hit the little bell, really helps. Stick around for videos on video games, technology. There's a video every week. I hope everyone's staying safe and I will see you in the next video.